Ultimate Gold Digger Exposed. Woman makes man pay rent for three months. <laughs> My God. And leaves after just one night. Leaves him. Wow. I, like, hear him taking a sh in my house. So I'm like, all right, cool. So I kind of was like, all right, I'm going to never mind that he leaving tomorrow. Do you know that he got in my bed and broke my bed? I was like, I don't let come to my house. You come to my house, you take a sh You screaming while you taking the sh and you broke my bed. Like, I'm like, how you break my bed? He like, I don't know. I just laid in it. Right there. I'm going to stop her there. Okay, yeah, he destroyed her toilets and broke her bed. Now, for as bad as that is, understand he had paid her rent for three months prior. And that was the first and only night he was there. Bruh. But we'll get to that in a moment. I came across this from smartlazyhustlers.com. As a female hustler, if you want to make a man spend on you, then you need to know the secrets, which is why I'm writing this post and revealing some real gems. Oh, this is some real bullshit. Proper bullshit. I have always been in relationships where the men I date always want to impress me. Yeah, sound like a real diva. Spend money on me. Yeah, really? And treat me like royalty. Oh my, oh, the level of bullshit. You see, the secret of making money faster is by collecting and using other people's money. There is no doubt that money is well enjoyed when you spend that of others. When you are spending your own money, you feel mm, waste singing inside of you. Oh, hell no. What sort of poetic, absolute, nonsensical BS was that? A waste singing inside of you? Oh, these gold digging broads are getting creative and poetic from the beginning. Okay, so... Now I can tell a story because the girl is gone. So I never, ever, 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 ever let guys come to my house. I have to be like madly in love with you for it to be super comfortable for you to be in my house, right? Or they have to pay your rent for three months before they come to your house, right? Right. Got it. So this guy had paid my rent for like three months straight. So mm. he was feeling obligated to come over to my house. He was what? he was feeling obligated to come over to my house. He was um, breathe. Come on, breathe. Ha oh, ha. Oh. He felt obligated. Obligated after three. You know what? Bitch, shut up. Ain't nobody asked you shit. Right. This is no cap for the man either because this is a man over simping for a woman. Like you're paying her rent for three months and it's like, yo, bro. Not saying he weren't getting the cheeks already. He probably was. But he was paying her rent. He was feeling obligated to... Obligated? Oh. You see, it's other men that make women think they can get away with it and just... And make other men feel like crap because we don't do this BS. Nope. Making me feel weird by saying no because he paid my rent. So I'm like, you know what? Okay, I can let him come spend a night. He has been paying my rent, right? Oh my God, really? So he come to my house. Mind you, I said I don't let guys come to my house unless I'm in love with them. He come to my house first time coming to my house. He took a shit. My friend, like, how you know he took a shit? Because I heard him the whole time. When I okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whole time. First of all, why are you listening, woman? That's a man's private time. Sometimes it's maybe shit. Why are you listening to a man, you know, release his bowels? You're wicked. Okay. <laughs> this is not even funny, but, you know, I'm going to make a point. The marking of one's territory. Yeah? We know it already, don't we? Some women say it's nonsense. As men, we know. I'm going to crap here. Yeah? I'm marking my territory. I'm going to ruin this toilet. Not ruin it, but you get my point. You're going you're gonna to bless it. That's a better word. You're gonna, I'm going to bless this throne. I've been paying for it for three months. Please. Dare a woman, though. The goal of a woman. I'm a man. If I paid for it, I'm going to shit in it. Just like a woman. That's what marriage is for. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I say he was giving like... Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck is he taking? That's a man shit. That's a man. <laughs> Some man shit. Come on. Taking a shit in my house and yes. I like hear him taking a shit in my house. Yes. So yes. I'm like, all right, cool. Gold digger. So I kind of was like, all right, I'm going to never mind that he leaving tomorrow. Do you know that he got in my bed and broke my bed? You saved money for three months. Buy a new bed. <laughs> Yeah, buy a new bed. You know what? Using her as an example for what I'm about to say. And theoretically, this is don't do this, you know. He should have broken that bed from getting those cheeks. That would have been a deserved 
breaking of a bed. Yeah? So you should not be complaining, woman, gold digger, demon, uh, that came out of nowhere. But you should not be complaining. He paid for it. He shat in it. You should have made him breakfast. I don't let niggas come to my house. You come to my house, you take a shit, you screaming while you taking the shit. And you broke my bed. Like, I'm like, how you break my bed? He like, I don't know. I just laid in it. You know how many times I just laid in this bed and it never broke? I was like... Well, you weren't paying rent, so, you know, you're probably sleeping soundly, you know? You didn't have to, you know, lay down with the weight of the world on your shoulder and shit like a man and scream because of the weight of the world. Go on. Because life's hard for a man. What do you bring to the table, Miss Nothing? I'm not no waitress. Fast forward, mad uncomfortable, we in the bed, watching TV, da 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 like, I'm wasting time. Like, I'm feeling so uncomfortable because I don't let guys come to my house. Really? In the morning, he get up and take another shit at my house. As I do not should. appreciate people taking shits at my house. I do not let niggas at my house. So for a nigga to be coming doing some shit that I don't appreciate or like, it's crazy. I had to cut him off. She belongs to the streets. You like the rent though, didn't you? You like the rent? Man, that's sweet money. You didn't like the smell of the shit but you like the smell of the money. Oh. Not capping for the man because he's simping for her and paying her rent and only going to her place once. Once. You took two shits and you screamed during both of the shits and you broke my bed. Like, And I was just so uncomfortable. I told you I didn't want you to come. You came to my house and you was taking shits at my house. Broke my bed. My dog didn't come upstairs the whole time. My dog was downstairs the whole time and Bentley loves everybody. Oh, you lying. Dog probably had manners. He be coming upstairs to be playing with everybody. Wait a second. You said you don't let nobody come to your house. No other men. House. I do not let niggas at my house. So for a... Gotcha. Do you think she was letting other men come in that weren't paying her rent? And they were getting those cheeks and drawers? And crapping in her toilets without paying rent? <laughs> but she fancied those men more? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You never know. He stayed downstairs the whole time. I was... I had to cut him off. What would y'all do? Y'all was... Y'all would still talk to him? I really don't like people taking shits in my house and I don't let niggas at my house, so why- If a woman was to pay anything for me for three months, I'd let her shit in my house. No problem, woman. I'd even breathe it in and not wince. I'd breathe it in and not wince to make her feel special. Sort of man I am. Would a nigga come take a shit at my house and scream? I'm telling you, it was like, Ugh! Like, I just could see his face taking that shit while I'm hearing him. He's giving, like, big pushes. Ugh! Like, the nerve, the audacity. Then you got your shitty ass in my bed. Like, I had to cut him off. I'm sorry. <laughs> you got the cheeks, didn't he? And not to mention, my home is a three-story home with Ooh. three bathrooms. It's a, no, I'm sorry. Check you four out. Four bathrooms. It's four bathrooms in my house. You could have used any bathroom and you used the one next to me. So you can hear his passion and pain. Three bathrooms. <laughs> You could have used any back from me. You used the one next to me. The thing is, women have become so casual with getting money from men. It's like, it's not even a thing anymore. It's to a point where you're not obliged to anything, even if you're supporting the woman. That's fucking stupid. Have a nice day.